Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design Now. Today we're going to talk about the Stufa Step Wedge Test and exposing your screens. So there must be about 40 to 50 posts every single week on the screen printing subreddit. A lot of the questions are for people just starting out uh, and they're having issues exposing their screens. And I often see a lot of recommendations for using a step wedge test. And I also see a lot of posts from beginners who are using the step wedge test and they're worried because they're getting the wrong numbers that you're meant to get on your step wedge test. And today I'm just gonna kind of talk a little bit about why these are really not that important for someone who is just beginning with screen printing. So when you buy this step wedge test, you get told that you're aiming to get a number seven. You can see that it's got different opacities um, starting with completely opaque all the way up to completely clear at the top here uh, and you're aiming to get a seven when you wash out your emulsion that means that you've got around about a perfect exposure according to this step wedge test. Now the one problem with this is that how do you know that this certain level of opacity at number seven is the same as your transparencies that you're printing out on your printer. The fact is, is that these really have no correlation. And if you use a light meter, for instance, if you do photography, you might have a light meter, uh, and you test the difference in exposure values that you get from your own printed uh, film positives, as opposed to roundabout number seven on this step wedge test, you'll see that you'll get different results. And that's just because these are different opacities of ink. Don't get me wrong, this is still a very useful tool. And I do use it with every single one of my exposures, but I use it more as an initial reference and not necessarily a kind of be all and end all test result when I'm exposing my screens. And what I mean by that is that I will uh, always make sure that I wash out this test strip first. For instance, if I'm doing half tones, if I wash out this uh, test strip and I'm getting a seven or eight, I know that actually my half tones are probably gonna be overexposed and I'm not gonna be able to wash them out. Usually for me to get a perfect exposure on my printed positives that I print at home, I'm aiming for about a four to five on the step wedge test. Basically, yeah, I use this as just an initial guide to tell me how to treat the rest of the emulsion on the screen. If I get, you know, if it washes out to a one or two, I know that the emulsion is gonna be really delicate and I need to be really careful with washing out the screen. If for instance, yeah, it's a seven, eight, nine, I know that I better maybe use some hot water, I better try and use some more pressure, I might as well even use a sponge and try and wipe it off uh, just to try and get that image washed out as quickly as possible. Now, one thing I do as well with every single one of my exposures is I keep a diary. Honestly, I think that a exposure diary is probably gonna be more valuable than a step wedge test. It's completely free. These are quite expensive. I think this is like 20 or 25 pounds to buy. Keeping a diary would just allow you to have a look at what exactly you're doing, especially if you don't print often, you might forget the times that you used. Um, some emulsions can be really sensitive. If you've got a powerful light setup like mine, it's a 200 watt LED, the difference between 20 seconds and 25 seconds can be the difference between getting a five and getting a 10 on this step wedge test. Uh, some emulsions can be really, really sensitive. So that's the first thing that I wanna say about these step wedge tests is that uh, you shouldn't really use these as your reference because you've just got no way of telling the printed positive that you're printing at home is anywhere the same as this. You'll be much better off as well if you just do an initial exposure test. So you can print these exposure tests, uh, you can find them online, just look for a screen printing exposure test. Uh, and basically you just cover up the image uh, in intervals of say one minute, uh, and then you, you wash it out and then you see at what point it starts to wash out good. And there you go, you've got your rough kind of exposure of what you wanna be aiming for. You can then do another screen and go a little bit finer. You could then go to 10 second intervals and you can really get it as, as precise as you need. And once you've got your exposure time with your light set up and your positives that you're using, as long as those things don't change, and they really shouldn't, your printer should always be printing the same, your light source should always be the same, then you've got your exposure that you need and you don't really need one of these step wedge tests. But the other thing I see quite often on the subreddit is people are using these step wedge tests and they will get a low number. Let's say you get like a three or a four when you're washing out your screen. A lot of people ask if you know their emulsion is, is ruined or you know if they can still carry on using that screen or if they've got to start all over again. I very, very rarely get a seven or eight on my exposures. Uh, as I said, 
if I'm doing half times, I'm aiming for like a three or a four. So don't be worried if you get even like a two with this step wedge test. The only thing you should really take from that is that the emulsion is really not properly exposed. It will still render an image, but you just need to be really, really careful. So don't use a lot of pressure. Don't use a sponge to wipe it, for instance. But if you can get your image washed out without ruining the rest of the emulsion, there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you dry it properly after washing it out and that you do a nice long post cure. So that is you just put it back under the light source and just give it, you know, a, a two or five minute blast or whatever you're using for your light source. Just use a really nice long time. Leave it out in the sun for 30 minutes. Uh, just make sure it's nice and cured and you're good to go. You, you don't need to uh, wash your screen again, you don't need to start all over again. So I just wanted to make this quick video just to kind of share some advice uh, for all the beginners out there that are new to screen printing and trying to do this at home. Hopefully you found this useful. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, that is it for today. I will catch you all later.